All right, welcome to Geometry 10-2. We're looking at probability models. Uh, specifically, we're looking at two-way frequency tables. And uh, two-way frequency tables are going to have a little more data than we have had before. So if we look at the top, we have, um, let's look at this, this uh, column here first. We have, uh, you know, information about males, females, and then totals. Um, looking at this row, we have, you know, were they involved in activities, descriptors, were they not involved in totals? So it shows uh, two sets of data and then what the data is about them. So the first question says, uh, what is the probability that a randomly chosen student is both female who is not involved in erect, uh, extracurricular activities? So we are looking for someone that's female that's not involved. So that would be 120. So that's 120 females that were not involved. And the probability would be over the total number of people, which we could see is 516. And that would equal a 0.233 or a 23.3% chance that we would have a student who is female um, and not involved in extracurricular activity. Let's keep on this slide. Let me erase this. And let's look at a different question here. So uh, I can't, I'm going to keep this, but a question might be a little bit more specific. So for example, what's the, what's the probability that, uh, that um, given that they're involved in an activity, what's the probability that they're a male? Now, since I said that we're given that they're involved in an activity, I'm only looking at this total now. I'm going to look at this column. So I say given that they're involved in activity, I'm not including this or this. Uh, and then that they're male is going to be 112. So now we have 112 out of the total in that column, which is 251. And if we divide that, we get approximately 0.4462, um, which was approximately 44.62%. So you have to read the, the, the language carefully about what it's telling you. If it's saying, it, you know, given that they're involved in activity, what's the odds that they're male or female? You're just looking at that one column. Um, where the original question just said, hey, what's the probability that a randomly chosen student is female and they're not involved? So you're talking about the whole table there. Uh, let's look at one more example. Let me erase this. So this is kind of looking at problem number three. So problem three says this. A company has 150 SIL reps, and that's an important number. I'm just going to write that off to the side. Uh, the company has 150 people that sell, let's say, cars. Two months after a sales seminar, so there was a sales seminar, um, the company vice president made these tables. What's the probability that someone who attended the seminar had an increase in sales? Okay, so real quick, let's just look what these columns mean. These mean that about 80% um, of the sales employees attended the seminar. 20% of them didn't attend. Um, increased sales, about half the staff in total Increase, but you can see 48% of the people came from those who attended, where only 2% came from those who didn't. People that didn't have an increase in sale, 32% um, attended, and 18% didn't attend. And that's our half and half. So the question is the same. What's the probability that someone who attended, so we're looking who attended, um, also had an increase in sales, right? Well, uh, one way you got to figure this out is to use relative frequency, and that is, what is this 0.48 over the total of this 48? So we have um, 0.48, that's the probability that they increase their sales, over the total probability, which is 0.8. And if you divide that, you would get 0.6, which means there is a 60% chance that they sold. Okay, good luck, and I'll see you in the next chapter.